basically take a very small tube that's the size of a needle and we cut little notches in the tip and we run one wire down the inside of the tube and we pull on the tube and that makes the tip bend. What it does is it gives the surgeon a little bit of ability to turn a corner at the end of the tool. So just like the human wrist lets me bend my hand over, this wrist will let the surgeon inside the patient bend a little surgical tool to the side to do things like tie a knot with a, when he's stitching up an organ um, or just uh, dissect something, pull something out. No one else has come up with this because it's just outside the normal way you think about these things. We knew it was a, a game changer. So we think it can work in a lot of different kinds of surgeries really throughout the body. So it, what we want to see happen is something called needle scopic surgery. The first one we're going after is transnasal brain surgery. So we're actually putting the instruments through the nose and up into the brain and removing tumors. Um, and the great thing about this is you don't need uh, part of your skull removed to get at the, the tumor. Just go through the nose and there's no visible scar. The patient can go home very quickly. Uh, recovery is much, much better. It will be useful for a lot of other things. Uh, tumors in the neck, for example, in the throat. Um, in, even in the abdomen, if you want to tie the, you know, the ureters back onto the kidney, you could use something like this. Uh, so we just think once we give this tool to the doctors, they're going to find all kinds of applications we haven't even thought of for it. The next step is assembling it onto the concentric tubes um, and getting all the software working so that the doctor can remote control it. So that will probably be done by the end of this summer is our goal. The next step after that is actually we need a commercial partner so we have to commercialize the device. It has to go through the FDA process and then it can be used in the initial patient trials. So I would say the, the best case scenario would probably be about uh, four years, five years 